I would say uh, I would like to throw that in as four hundred dollars put in the budget. And we'll see if it gets swiped. Uh, the only thing <coughs> I have, uh, Danny was wanting to know if we made a decision. Atlas mm -hmm. wanted to know on the monument. Oh, we we need to discuss that because I don't. I think you guys have more information than I do. I I wasn't in on the talk with those guys. So. Oh yeah. Well, Tom and I were um, here when uh, Denny came in, and Denny brought this in that uh, Atlas, who is working on the, the mm -hmm. courthouse right now, um, thought that we need to clean both the monuments, and it needs to be. The caulking cut out also in a lot of areas and, and recaulk, um, and then they would clean it uh, with a detergent cleaning agent, and then seal it. But also, um, was it Denny that suggested that we have it in greater greater? Did you? I got a request a couple years ago from either World War II Civil War vet, but it was by a veteran that said we needed to get someone to go over some of the etching and it's hard to see. Now I don't know if this will do it, but then he did give me a name of a Mr. Pitts in Warsaw who does the engraving on tombstones. And so we might see how it looks after this, but at least it will be cleaned up. And I, I, I would through. think this process would even make it a little worse. Because you're going to be knocking some away and there is some of that. You can't hardly read it anymore, so. Well, we don't have to. Yeah. Okay, so there, I gave the Mr. Pitt a, a call and he hasn't called me back. Okay. So there's, but there's two projects, right? Yes. Okay, what's the other, the second project? Would, well, it'd be, the, it's really one project, but there's two um, processes. Monuments. Oh, two pro there, There's two, two monuments, or at least two, isn't there? Yeah. I thought they were doing just the big one. Just the big one. Wasn't he talking about the one that was the seat also that no, was there? Yeah. Anyway, the total six thousand dollars. Okay, right. Yes. And he couldn't move on negotiating. No. Oh, did he try? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. They wouldn't okay. listen to that. All right. And part. we thought while they were here, yeah. Rather than having them come back and charge us eight or ten, that would be a good time to do it. Well, no, I agree with that. You know, they don't want them to go home and then come back because that, that would be costly. Um, I don't know, where, where would where would money like that come from? No, is that a cube cap? I, I, I don't know where. Yeah, do a cube cap. Yeah, that extra seat money. That was that the other thing I was saying. We've, we've got some extra seat at money. How much extra? How much extra? I didn't think it was quite that much, but yeah, it, it's, it's yeah. I was just looking at that number, and I probably have it laying here somewhere. somewhere this yeah. other, yeah. this other EMS van, where, where's that coming out? Of? Seating. That's seating. Is it in there now? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was in there from the very beginning. I like I like her think it's around ninety thousand more that we got. So how much you got in cube cap now? Mm -hmm. Cube cap, two fifty six. I'm gonna I don't have it with me, but I can look. I didn't bring the computer up by the time we'll be done. We kinda ate it the cube cap though. With these projects, yeah. these yeah. projects and the purchase yeah. of the vehicles. Um, I kind of like to see it, but I don't care. I'll go with whatever you guys want to do. One of the reasons I say that is because, whereas I don't have a hard core figure yet, I, I should have it soon. We put 150 in for the ambulance, but we won't spend 150 for the ambulance. So I know there's got to be some cushion, but I'm not, you know, don't have the crystal ball, can't 
I looked at rainy day. I do know because someone just asked about the use of that. That was up around 1.4. So that's been carrying it pretty heavy. I'll tell you now, see the money is there. Okay. Let's make a motion. So moved. Okay, motion. Right. So motion to stay all in favor, raise your right hand. All go same. So is this we need to sign this for I think they wanted to know so they can prepare. Okay, okay, so we you think we could. But you need to leave, leave Danny know. <coughs> can you that do that yet today? Okay. But Danny know that we're going to move ahead on that $5,900. <coughs> what else you got there, Mr. Ripley? Nothing, thank you. Just had the monument, that was it. Okay. Sorry. Well, a lot of the stuff that I've had has been whittled down, so this shouldn't shouldn't take too long. But I got this. I got notified about this survey from Ball State a while back. Saw it saw it somewhere online. I looked this up. I, I thought, hey, we did we did pretty good. Um, there's uh, there's five sections. You get graded on people, human capital, education, human capital, health government impact and economy, and on arts, entertainment, and recreation. Now, which one do you think we'd get the low score in? Art and entertainment. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and we did. I mean, but I, I, but I dig it. I understand it. We got a C. We got Bs for everything else. So I'm like, I, I am thrilled. I just think that's pretty good grades. But I attended a Region 3A meeting the other day. Uh, Ron Smith is not very happy. Ooh, Steubing County. Wow. And now here's what here's what Ron Smith's upset with. And, and I understand. I didn't think about this. This came out a few days before the elections. Hmm. And a and a candidate in Steubing County took that and ran with it because they got an F for government, right? Government impact. They got an F in government. <laughs> so this guy ran with the ball, and, and so the, the, the county commissioner I was talking to was hot, one, because it shouldn't have been released before, you know, a, a few days before an election. He blames, he blames, now I'm not going to take his blames for that. He, uh, yeah, but I, I guess you know it was funny because I had seen it and I thought, oh, I, I think, and I do, I think we got we got all B's except for a C in arts and recreation. Well, you know what? You pretty much have to go to Fort Wayne, I guess, if you want to be cultured. We bring the <laughs> Philharmonic out once a year or so. We try, but we're never going to start counting and get all S. Was it all S? Oh my! I, I oh, but art or C? Oh my gosh! I think I got a better grade in. Oh my gosh! Okay, all right. Well, go figure. But I guess I just would. Best fun. I had hoped to share that with the with the news media, but they're they're gone. So. I should say I have that. I can forward. Well, I think we did good. Um, one of the things that that Denny also told the, us and the, uh, the 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 council about that day was. There is an upcoming chimney leak in this building. So I don't know whether it was gathering some prices on that or not. So, yeah. Hmm. Um, I, I had two written down the woods, lands, and lakes, and I, I kind of like to see us put in the 400, and if it gets kicked out, it gets kicked out, but I'd like to see us do that. Um, oh, I think that's. You know about the caucus coming up, and that's also a meeting with the mayors. Mm -hmm. and, um, um, <clears throat> are, we are not a member of this organization. Do you, do you know that? the letter, I, it, it, it said we were one. We are members? Yeah, okay. So. Well, we can vote if we're members, and we can't vote if we're not members. That's what it amounts to. Well, if... They sent you credentials, so I don't think they send credentials out if we didn't want us. Well, 
I don't but they put in red, in order to participate, a county must have paid its membership dues and have one paid registrant. Oh, oh, that means one of us has to go to Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, too, to the uh, big. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we want to charge our taxpayers for that. They're going to send me somewhere. It's going to be somewhere for arts and recreation purposes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm thinking about, could we possibly come up with a beach, say, like they have in Florida somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Just, or a racetrack like Daytona. You know, yeah. I'm there for the people. Yeah. So, uh, that's all I have. That's when you need that copy of your death certificate. Eh. <laughs> all right. See you all in a, about an hour, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, oh, I'm sorry, public comments. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, public comments. Excuse me. I'll, myself. I'll return to Woodland Lakes real quick and say that at your, uh, at your request, I have been up to the um, uh, Camp Samaritan remains. Uh, <laughs> remains. I, I, I came away from that with a registered personal feeling of saying that I was in awe two ways. I was in awe of what had been there and what was obviously a wonderful thing. Oh, yeah. and, and, and at the same time in awe of how it sadly slipped. And I don't know what it'll take to bring it back, but as I walked around the dollars just kept racking up <laughs> and I'm figuring 50 to 100 grand probably to, to make it make sense. Um, but I'm going to pursue that. I don't know where I'll get. I really don't. I think that's going to be some grant uh, proposal writing and things like that, but I'll pursue that. But, uh, and I'm going to take that forward through the council and see what, you know, we hear there. Uh, but it certainly seems to me to fit the sort of thing that they would do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I took pictures. I've got <laughs> pictures of it. And, uh, and you can look at those and you can see what its glory was. And unfortunately, you can see at the same time how it slipped, and that's that's sad. Um, Something, you know, since our meeting, um, I had a meeting with September McConnell at uh, Whitley County Foundation and or Community Foundation, and uh, the uh, Todd Nichols from the uh, Property Owners Association and Gene Hefkin. The four of us met, and. Uh, September has got some information from the Kellogg Corporation. Um, they actually they have a, a grant for uh, recreation grants. And it's for communities that this was uh, for mental health issues. Those the kids that were out there, uh -huh. and that if we kind of brought that back to a point where it was um, ADA friendly, then they probably would in some grant money to keep that going. So, but she's checking into that. Well, that, yeah, yeah I mean, they, you can see that there's just several things that have to be done to get it to be, but, it, but it, it's amazing what it was, and it's sad to see it have slid away from that. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. But, but I can say, I got pictures, I'm going to try to put together some kind of a flip book or something, and then maybe start looking for where grants can be obtained, and I'll get a hold of the council members too, and, and I, I don't know, we'll see what happens, and it's not one of those things you can make guarantees on, but it's worth a pursuit. The other comment that I'd like to make is away from that, but I'd like to say that, um, and I'm going to speak maybe for the three of us, and they'll jump up and yell no if they don't want to be tagged with what I'm going to say, but um, I think you're well justified in saying that there's a cutoff on uh, on ideas to come in, and and this is as good a cutoff as any. And I don't think either the three of us nor Mark, who had to go to another meeting, uh, are concerned about that. Um, we have we have stuck with this thing for the long haul. To us, it's been two years worth of work, and uh, and we. <laughs> And we're looking at a pretty large dollar sign in our rearview mirror of things that we've spent to try to make all this uh, come together. And I think what you you'll notice going into the future and have noticed up to now is that we've done all this with no intent of gain, 
but with the intent of trying to make our county the best place that people can live and, and a safe place for people to live and a healthy place for people to live. And we've been here with that intent and we're still here. And, and while some others may have kind of evaporated and gone away, you're still going to see us and you're going to see us for the very simple reason that we really genuinely do care what takes place and and um, I think I'll say for myself and I but I think I'm saying for the three of us as well that we were excited when it came in your hands and we believe that it's in good and competent hands and uh, and so if you have questions of us, not new ideas, but questions of us, could we justify a stand on this or that? For example, if you want me to send you calculations I made relative to throw distance, now they're ugly looking in their physics all over the page, but if you want me to send them, I'll send them, and, and we'll be happy to be resources in that regard to you, but we think it's in good hands and competent hands, and we appreciate the work you're doing and the effort you're putting in. The thing I'd like to add to that is, is anything we've got, like Stanley said, feel free to ask us at any time. We'll give you the most, anything we've got. Um, and from a management standpoint, we'd wish we'd have got that to you earlier, but this is all we could do is as fast as we could do. I so, I'm sorry about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, there are going to be, you know, more issues down the road, um, and, and I hope we can you know, continue to work together like we have, because I think there's other things. There's, I know, I, I, I'm only speaking for myself, but I gotta believe others in this room are gonna say the same thing. I can't wait to get this thing behind me, because there's other fish to fry out there in this county. This is a great county, and yes. now we just need to start making it we, we We believe from day one that's our charter, we want to, keep this going and there's other programs that need to be taken care of if I can help. We, we do have a pretty good technical resource, yep. whether it be financial or whatever. Well, we We'd appreciate like y'all hanging in with us. So, well, well, I'll emphasize what Larry just said too, and that is, uh, it's been at least a year ago that in one of our meetings we discussed, you know, this thing's going to come to an end sometime, what happens to us, and we decided, you know, <laughs> one, one mistake that's been made over time, uh, Countrywide, I think perhaps is that people have not been active in their local uh, governments and things like that, and we intend to stay there and try to be a resource and and be available. And sometimes we'll be a pain, and sometimes we're going to be something good. But uh, and, and I guess I'll end off on this note and say that given the last council meeting, I don't know if it's as fair to say that there are fish to fry or shrimp to scampi. So uh, I punch. <laughs> good one. Good one. Uh, love shrimp. I just thought so that was George. Ask George how well he likes shrimp. <laughs> I just thought that was fascinating what they did with that new business. I just thought that was yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd just like to add a couple of comments if I can. Um, 